tell us what we did? Oh, you can do whatever you want. Oh, yeah. Well, we got out here today and uh, filled a couple of tags, harvested a turkey, shot us a small dough. I think we can put some meat in the freezer. Well, the hunt's pretty much over with for the day. It's been one heck of a Christmas present for me. I've had a real great day. Best hunting I've had for a long time. Only been out hunting a couple times this year. So this has really been great. Thank you for tuning in to Last Breath TV's Throwback Thursday. This is where we show off all of our favorite whitetail, turkey, hand fishing, antelope, mule deer, and bear hunting episodes from the past. Be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on the bell notification so that way you never miss an episode. Mike Crawford is a great bow tech, but he's an even better human being. Uh, everybody on the team loves to hang out with him. You know, he, he's kind of like that, that uncle that you can't wait to see when you're a kid. He's a little bit older than us, but he's always taking great care of us, whether it's in the bow shop or we go over there to see him. He's a guy that we just love spending time with. And a little bit about Mike is that he's watched this industry evolve. He started selling bows way back when the compound bow was just introduced to the market. He's been able to see how these companies grow and, and the industry's grown. And this year he actually lost some of his hunting ground and this is the last little piece that he'd had. And uh, after getting to talk to him, he was thinking this is gonna be the first year. And since he could remember, he wasn't gonna be able to fill a deer tag. And um, you know, we talked about it and it's something that we were not gonna stand for. We had to have Mike come hunting. Well, we're out here today with Garrett on a late season hunt. See if we can harvest the dough. Earlier there was some uh, whole bunch of turkeys running around. And we're gonna see if maybe we can tag one of those tonight if things go pretty good. Otherwise, we're just gonna sit here a little while and chill out and see if there's anything moving around here for a while. We're going to go out here and try to retrieve her, but we've been sitting here for at least a half an hour while the other group decided to get the heck out of here. Now we got to be a little cautious because it's getting time for the... So we got to go grab her and go get shoot a deer. Yeah, so we go in case any deer come along. <laughs> Let's go. Here we go. <laughs> Hardly. <laughs> Number two. <sighs> okay. Now, time for the Oops. That's wrong. <laughs> well, that's a good one. It's a cheese and smile. Yep, send that off. Here we go.
You want me to tell us what we did? Oh, you can do whatever you want. Oh, yeah. Well, we got out here today and uh, filled a couple of tags, harvested a turkey, shot us a small doe. I think we can put some meat in the freezer. Well, the hunt's pretty much over with for the day. It's been one heck of a Christmas present for me. I've had a real great day. Best hunting I've had for a long time. Only been out hunting a couple times this year. So this has really been great. I really thank the uh, last breath guys for letting me get out here and, and hunt. And it looks like we better shut up because I'm fogging up the windows. Mike and I are tucked into this little ground blind that Grant and I built a couple years ago and we got the heater going and we're just kind of cutting up and we're laughing, we're enjoying each other's times. And um, it, it was really interesting and fun just to watch him as he hunted and he had his opportunities where he had his highs and lows just in this evening. You know, uh, a guy that has killed more deer than probably all of us combined just get so excited about shooting a, his first hen turkey or about shooting a doe. It's um, something I'm glad that we were able to do. Uh, and I know he had a blast. It was one of those hunts that, again, you just you chalk up, you stick in the memory files, and you hold on to for a while. On behalf of the entire team, we just want to say thank you to Mike Crawford for being a helpful hand, a fantastic friend, and just a phenomenal person overall. If you like listening to hunting stories as much as watching them, then check out our podcast. The Last Breath Hunt Cast is available on iTunes, Spotify, and all other major podcast platforms.